Oh, and welcome to Rick's Kits. Got a couple of shout outs. Uh, received some cards, shop cards in the post. Um, first one up is Big Charlie's Model Garage. Three lovely cards been sent over by Charlie. Charlie's a trucker. Um, he likes collecting die cast, makes some models, aeroplanes, trucks. A great channel, very informative. Do like your cards, Charlie. Thank you for the kind words on the back. Do appreciate your support. Uh, I have sent my card to you. I'm not sure if it's got there yet with you, but um, postal strikes over here before Christmas, so unfortunately a lot of post has been delayed. Um, so you may or may not have got it yet, I don't know. Uh, you guys haven't already subscribed to Big uh, Charlie's Model Garage. Go over and give him a sub. Take a look. Hit the bell button, share and like his content. I know you'll appreciate it. And I appreciate you, Charlie. Thank you for your support. We have a shop card. It's from Model Cars with Glenn. Hmm, what can we say about Glenn? Glenn, I think. I'd say he's a pillar of this community. He's a, he's a pillar of this community. The guy does fantastic builds. Absolutely fantastic builds. Uh, this is his art as well. So he's one hell of a art. Got an artistic talent which goes through all of his builds. Uh, loves his gasses. Big gasser man. And entertainment value. Yeah, it's beyond reproach, basically. The guy is super funny. Super, super funny. I love your content, man. And I absolutely love you. You're a terrific guy. Absolutely mega terrific guy. So, any of my subscribers who haven't or don't know Model Cars with Glenn, get over there. Give the man you love, give him a subscribe, share his content, like his videos, hit the bell notifications for whenever he's about, when a new video comes up. Truly, truly fantastic man. And his brother Don make does beautiful paintings. There's nearly always a painting on Glenn Show. Cheers, Glenn. Love you, man. Peace. Okay, I've also got um, some stash ads. I need to... Uh, well, I don't need to. I've got some stash ads that I'm going to show you. Um, some I may have already shown you, but I need to get them together, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, the first two are... They're both Revel Kits. Both level five, and they're both VWT ones. So we've got this Samba Bus Flower Power, very nice kit. Going to do this for the um, 60s rules psychedelic 60s group build. This is one of my choices. Um, I may save this for another day though. My actual choice for the group build was this one, UWT one. Uh, I thought this was a bit more iconic for the 60s group build. So this is what I should be doing on that one. So this is a good stash at. Very, very nice kit. Okay, moving on to the next ones. Not sure if you've seen these, but I've got 
basically the complete collection of knights in shining armor by aurora uh this one is sakai we have sir percival which you may notice my red knight build this is the red knight outfit we also have the Galahad who incidentally is the Black Knight and then you've got Sir Lancelot which is the White Knight uh, these are all Arthurian legends so if you know about King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table these are four of the knights of the round table okay moving on to the next ones out of the opera we always like looking in the cupboard and seeing this one um this is the Atlantis one i believe this was an aurora kit to start with um can't get wait to get tucked into that one I do like that. I like the uh, Phantom of the Opera and the Frankenstein and the Dracula and the Mummy and all, and all those. Stuff. Glenn, I know you like this one. Uh, I like the Monsters too. Brilliant. Lovely Polar Lights kit. So much detail in there. Um, the set is just uh, basically the set, but the characters, Herman, Lily, and quite heavy uh, they come in either grey plastic or well, in the dark plastic so I'm looking forward to getting tucked into that one at some point uh, next up okay now we've got some Star Wars got Disney's X-Wing fighter in put the light on that 157th scale uh this is a Dis disney boxing so i'm not quite sure how different that is from the original star wars um version but yeah i i, I like the old x-wing um i've got a couple of I've got a snow speeder and a tie fighter already built. Um I'm looking looking for I'm looking to get his tie fighter and probably the intercept tie fighter as well. Maybe the A and the B for the Rebel Alliance. Millennium Falcon's a little bit out of my reach at the moment. Um where I've picked some of these kits up I go to um they've normally got collections that they've got from people and and the prices are a little bit cheaper um but i'm not paying 300 odd pounds for a millennium falcon it's uh, a little bit much okay and the other one is the star destroyer this is a 20 years Edition and it's an AMT kit. Haven't actually been inside the box. Nice box art. Um, so yeah, looking forward to having a pop on this one. Uh, next up, so we've got this 1961 Ford Ranchero Custom. Pick this one up, dirt cheap. Well, I call it dirt cheap, something about. Twenty three pound, I think. I think it was. Again, that was off flea bay. Um, I like the fifty nine, but there was something about this sixty one. I don't, I don't think it was this cover over the back and these f like flames that drew me to this one. It's skill level two. 
So we've got custom graphics, custom slot wheels, I'm not too sure about these slot wheels. Um, I might have to find something and change them out. But yeah. So, looks like a nice little kit. Um, don't know much about the old engines in these things. Caught, but that was another one that's going to get done. Uh, and then we got the paddy wagon, Tom Daniel's paddy wagon. Uh, this one never built a custom or a show rod. Well, I have sort of built a custom, but I've never never built a show rod. Uh, this one caught my eye because it came up pretty damn cheap. Probably wouldn't be my first choice of custom. Um, this one has got. Uh, give me the lid off. Um, two police figures in the box as well. Now, I'm not 100% sure if. I will build it with the police characters on it. But something different. Put me out of my my comfort zone building something that I haven't really built before. Um but yeah. Tom Daniel's paddy wagon. Will be interesting. Two more. Okay, so this just about fits on the uh, camera. Or in the camera, shall I say. Not on the camera. Uh, monograms Peterbilt 1 16th scale 359 conventional. Another, again, I'm harkening back to my father's times when he built. His model cars. Obviously, I've got his model car collection now. Um, he had all three of these rigs. He had this Peterbilt. He had the Kenworth Conventional. And he had the Kenworth Aerodyne. I've got his Kenworth Conventional. He put light in and that in it and painted it black. I've got that. Still lights up. I have got his Kenworth Aerodyne which wasn't built and I am currently, well I say currently, I've been building it for probably the last year, but his Peterbilt, he ended up selling or taking it apart to, I went and found me one. So now I've got all three. Show you my next one. Okay, so I've got a 1985 Corvette Coupe, one eighth scale, monogram kit, and over the years it got lost. Always said I wanted to do another one. Maybe not the same um, colouring as before, but yeah, I'm going to look forward to doing this one again. Uh, only piece missing on this kit is a piece of lens. Um, this would retail roughly nowadays at about 140, 160 pound. I'll pick this up for 80, 80, 80 pound because the lens was missing out of the box so looking forward to putting that one together okay so that's it for uh, the shout outs and stash ads anyway thanks for watching if you haven't hit the subscribe button it's down below tag it hit the bell for push notifications share the content if you think it's worth sharing Go and subscribe to the two guys that I mentioned at the start. And uh, we'll see you in the Psychedelic 60s group build with 60s rules channel. Happy modelling. And one more thing. Have a great new year. 
to you next year. Thanks for watching.